A recent breakthrough in curing cancer is being hailed worldwide. But what you might not know is that the research actually started in Israel. Professor Zilig Ishar began researching a new cancer cure at the Weizmann Institute in Israel years ago. Now everyone's talking about the recently released American study, where patients suffering from a form of leukemia saw their disease go into remission after being treated with genetically modified T cells. It was scary, it was terrifying for all of us, and we made that decision for her, and it happened to be the best decision we can ever make. Unlike most cancer treatments, the T cells navigate their way through the body to attack cancerous cells, while leaving healthy cells untouched. Current therapy methods like radiation and chemotherapy destroy both good and bad cells, which severely weakens the immune system. If you can get T cells to become part of the immunological memory, the chances of leukemia or, or a cancer relapsing becomes much, much less because once the cancer pops its head up again, the immune cells are, are still there in the background getting ready to, 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 to recognize and kill off any, any small number of, of cancer cells that have relapsed. Professor Ishar has been conducting T-cell research on rats for over a decade, and his work paved the path for the American researchers to conduct the study on humans. The professor says the researcher's next goal will be to expand the test to fight other forms of cancer, which won't be easy. We have the understanding now to uh, redirect and engineer the immune system. As we become more proficient and efficient at doing that, I'd see it uh, extending out to larger groups of patients. But it's important to sound a note of caution here. This is a very small study. These treatments don't work for all types of cancers and they can have very severe side effect. 